This video is for you if you're an adult who knows some computer science and you're going into a classroom to help people learn some computer science, but you're not a typical teacher. Okay, the first one is make sure to share a non-computing hobby. Okay, this can be really important as a way to try and connect with students. Like maybe there's nothing you love more than being a computer scientist and you spend every hour you can at work. Don't tell students that. Tell students about a relatable hobby. Maybe you like to play games. Maybe you like to play sports. Uh, particularly try and find a hobby that they might like as a, a kid their age. Number two, focus on the positive. A lot of us had sort of a rough time getting through a computer science degree program. There can be tough parts in jobs. But if you're spending a limited amount of time with students, really focus on the positive. Tell them why should they be really excited about the field of computer science. You are, so share those parts with them. Those are the most important if you have a limited amount of time. Number three, reintroduce yourself to students. So first of all, when you get started, make sure that the teacher introduces you because it's a little weird, like who is this adult in the room? And then second, to try and mitigate the, the sort of gap between, of status between you and them. People are going to be like, oh, this adult is super intimidating. Try and make that less so by reintroducing yourself to them every time. And, and uh, really try and get their name correct. It shows a lot of respect to say, not just gloss over their name, be like, wait, but did I pronounce it correctly? Can you help me pronounce it correctly? Really show value in that. There's no harm in asking, oh, I really want to be able to pronounce your name correctly. Please help me. Okay. Number four, move to student's eye level. Again, they're probably going to be intimidated by you. And if you stand towering over them while you're telling them what they're doing wrong, it's likely going to be even more intimidating. So try and squat or grab a chair so that you can sit down at or below their eye level. Number five, Always stay quiet during the teacher's announcement. If the teacher has to make any kind of an announcement, zip it. No matter if you're in the, you know, you're about to say the most important part of your explanation or share something with your students, zip it, zip it, zip it. Don't say anything during announcement and make sure to model that respect. Along those same lines, number six, always defer to the teacher. Be like, yo, when we're doing this, sometimes kids are not going to be doing what they're supposed to. And you can talk to the teacher about that. Oh, if they do X, what do you want me to do? And just always do exactly what they say. And likely they're going to try and make it easy so that you're not mainly dealing with classroom management. Number seven, explain what counts as computer science. A lot of the resources we have for teaching kids computer science look a lot like games. And they're fun just because computer science is fun, but they're fun. And so help students know, you know, you're not just here playing a game. This is real computer science that you're learning, okay? Try and help them see how it connects to this broader field of computer science generally. Good luck volunteering in a classroom. 